They said gray, paved the way, chase the rain, release the pain, least you saying getting paid. Trent said it right in day, don't parat, tight as set, high and deadly, I'm a fighter jet, Jeremy King. Boom I yay, that's how we're gonna start this one with the boom I yay. Our guy, listen, the rookie of the year, the guy that I call to be a fucking superstar after getting drafted, the guy that we've had twice on here, Mr. Alex Kane. A.K.A. the GOAT, A.K.A. Kane Anonymous. So, gentlemen, we see somebody try to run up on Alex Kane. Alex Kane is like, yo, what up, blah, 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 blah. Pulls out the opera cup and shit it just gets serious, right? Now, I know you feel a certain way, so I'm going to let you go first. Actually, you're going last because you feel a certain kind of way. We know how you feel. But A.B., we were talking about this prior, and I'm going to let you talk to them because we already know Salty McSalty over there is going to feel a certain way and not when I'm talking about the big homie Alex Kane. Well, I allow that energy to start, so you go first, my brother. All right, so before we start, let me make sure that we do this really quickly. <laughs> make sure you follow us on Twitter, Instagram. We will have some of the other stuff up later. Take out your phone, turn on the camera app, hover over the QR code. All of our links are there. We're not going to go over everything today, but pretty much you can follow us down there using the QR code. All right, let's get back on script. You know, they were they, they didn't do a great enough job to show that the Opera Cup is the Opera Cup. It is a big thing, and it was a big thing. You know, MLW is gaining new followers. It's gaining new uh, new eyes. Show us what the Opera Cup is and what it means and what it meant to the Hart family that Davey Boy, you know, Smith Jr. brought it back and allowed MLW to, uh, to use the Opera Cup and to hold an Opera Cup tournament. Don't just all of a sudden pop it out of a bag and say, hey, look, here it is. We, as MLW fans, not Mark's fans, we're sitting there saying, hey, th this guy's got to have it. Muffins had an idea of who it could have been. I, I sort of had an idea that it could have been somebody internal to the show because I didn't think that they'd just bring somebody in from outside, but who knows, right? I mean, any, anything is possible. So here's, you know, here's what I, what I, I'm sort of glad that one of the storylines, it, it, it gets to follow somebody within MLW, which is, which is really good. But chef did bring up something on our pre show meeting here that really, really piqued my ear. So, Chef, I'm going to throw it back to you. You tell me, do you want to go up to the muffins or do you want to talk about what you were talking about no, and no, no, no. what I'm gonna it meant? The, I'm going to take the alley you, you just threw me. See, that's some – a lot of people might not understand what just happened. So he's playing the role of Gary Payton throwing up the lob. I'm taking the role of Sean Kemp, the rain man, throwing it down. All right? So this is what happens. So everybody understands, well, this guy can shake his head and feel a certain way. So the Opera Cup is supposed to be prestigious. Like you said, now we all agree it should have been shown better. And it kind of got lost in the sauce for a long time and just kind of appeared, right? We, we all were like, eh, not feeling that really. But the Opera Cup, you know, stands for a winning, you know, thing going forward. It projects you. It makes you better. Alex Kane had like the best year of anybody in MLW. As soon as that got taken or misplaced, let's not say taken, let's say it was misplaced. And it just so happened that it wound up being with Alex Kane because we don't throw nobody on the bus and we don't throw a label on anybody. So Alex Kane goes on, has a dominant beginning. He winds up winning the uh, open, was the open weight? Yeah, it was the open weight championship, right? So he wins the open weight championship completely dominates we then get to see him grow as someone who talks and you're like wow i can get behind this guy like this guy he can talk he's a winner he keeps dominating he's winning at a high fashion um you had like the uh what's his name 
the fighter that he was given like this the suplex count, how many different suplexes he was going through. We've seen the dope transition of an early sign of greatness. And I want to say greatness because you give me a bad Alex Kane match, I'll eat it because I'll say, show me one. He has dominated, and that's ever since what looks like he's been in possession, which is nine-tenths of the law, of having the Opera Cup in his presence. So I personally think the Opera Cup took him, gave him a rookie of the year, did what it did, and now we're seeing him as greatness is what it is. That's just me. I think that the Opera Cup, you know, the Opera Cup projected him forward and it did what it did. And there it goes. That beautiful thing is in the possession of the Bumaye Fight Club. Uh, Muffins, you want to hate? If you want to hate, go ahead. But, I mean, look at this thing. Look at the lineage. You could talk, bro. They could still see and listen. Look, it's in play. It's showing. Look, look, even Tom Lawler, Datewell, the former, you know, Opera Cup winner. Because right now the real Opera Cup winner is Alex Kane. And you're looking at this beautiful piece of metal that now sits in the Puma Bay Fight Club in one of the workout bags or something. So, and I mean, not for nothing, Alex Kane is the, is the Opera Cup winner. He's the Opera Cup holder, so he's the Opera Cup champion. No? You disagree? Oh, Lord Jesus. Well, it's time for the eldest man of the podcast to come in and bust some bubbles here. First of all, David Richards won this cup last year. Last December 2020. Oh, I'm sorry, 2021. Okay. And Supposedly he got knocked out and he got stolen for all for close to a year. No one knew what the damn cub was at. All right. Now you over here blowing smoke up the guy's number two baby poo like he's the greatest thing ever alive. Like he he did this, he did that, he had the rookie of the year. All this nonsense. Nonsense. Wait, 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 he wait, lost. wait, 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 wait. Hold up. You you all that you spoke is my turn. You said, "Oh, okay. Here, here we go. Play that clip, please." Play oh, actually, clip. I don't have the clip. I just, I got the, okay. I got the. Um, All right, the, just a so, screenshot. So you mean to tell me he he he's the open weight t- champion? He loses the the title to Davey Richards, who cheated, and yeah, whatever. And then a week later, he had the cup in, in his possession in a bag for over a year. Come you on, know why? Are you, you know why? Right now, hold on. He could easily be doing. If you want this, I want that. You want your cup back? I want a shot back. So I'll put the cup on the line if what you put the belt on the line. No. What should what should have happened was, like I said before, when they had WrestleMania weekend, and they had all the different matches and different people going to different companies. David Richards went to Impact Wrestling. And, yes. and teamed with Team Impact against uh, I don't know more there. That right there should have been the, the reason for Eddie Edwards to come in to MLW and steal the upper cup from David Rich from Eddie from David Richards and say, You came into my house, I'm coming into your house to take your cup. That right there, folks. Is what storytelling is made of right there. But MLW follows the lazy storytelling like other companies do. Well, we don't have anybody else to do it with. He just beat him for the belt. So now let's make it seem like he stole the cup for a whole year, even though he just picked it up last week. Oh, well, oh, hear me out real quick. For just, um, I don't know if you guys are into history, right? You ever heard of the Spear of Destiny? No. Is, is it a true story or one of those... Of course uh, it's a true Lord story. Ring, or one of those Lord of the Rings shit that you people read. No, 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 no. Take it easy. The Spear of is Destiny. This, was is this the, the, pick, the pick of Destiny from... What was that movie with Jack Black? No, 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 no. Listen, <laughs> listen. The Spear that, you know, stabbed into Jesus himself... 
is what the spear of destiny is. It, it withholds uh, massive power. Anyone who wields this thing, this is real stuff. The spear of destiny is a real thing. And whoever has this thing is like unbeatable. You know what I mean? Like it, you're full of power because it is what it is. So, I mean, did the Opera Cup power him to propel this way? I mean, I'm just saying. You're, you're trying to sit there and say that uh, Alex Kane isn't this, Alex Kane isn't that. Alex Kane is the motherfucking truth. Who? Who has oh, had a better oh. ever? Oh, Jesus, Lord. Tenacious yeah. D, the pick of destiny. This is what happens when you do a podcast with people who aren't educated in life. What the hell? What the hell do I have to do here? And I'm the one from the hood. First of all, the oh only thing God. that I ever heard of, of history is Excalibur. I mean, that, that's that's a real story, right? Excalibur. The well, I'm going to Vegas pick next week. <laughs> yeah, go pick the pick the, the, the sword from the rock. Excalibur, you know, that I believe in that. I don't know about no fear of death. I mean, whatever shit you smoking over there, I don't know. But whatever you're smoking, I want some of that, too, bro, just in case, because I want to be out there like you right now, brother. But I cannot believe hey, we're having this conversation right now. How do hey, you man. really no, this, know? What this was All really right. good. I'll okay. be honest. It was it was awesome. Hey, All I know is this. This is crazy to me. All I know is this. Yes. In, in, in is Alex Kane is the motherfucking man. Hold up, man. Take it easy. In the story sense, it makes sense that since Richards beat Kane, then Kane should have the cup to throw it back in his face. I understand that. I, I understand that. But it took a whole year just to dig for that. Dude, you like hold he, your cards and have to play them. But I'm saying he, he just took that bitch out of a duffel bag like he like he had it in the trunk for a whole year and he forgot about it. Oh, by the way, look, I, I had it in the trunk the whole time. He kept it close to his person. Oh shit! It would be better if oh, he was home talking and all of a sudden, oh look, there's a cup right there. Oh, how the hell that shit got there? You know what I'm saying? That makes more sense. This or is, he could have he could have had a bag with him every time that he he went to the ring and you know it could have been a little bit of a shrouded shrouded mystery of and what's Mr. gonna Thomas be in the, bag. in the bag yeah. Thomas, yes. he Thomas he could have put in in his tight pants yes. he Mr. could Ty have put in his tight pants Thomas always had it in the bag <laughs> but I don't remember him I don't remember seeing a bag and they didn't even tell us what made more bag. sense what was that makes sense, like what's in the bag? They could carry that damn bag everywhere. See? That makes sense. And and but that never and, happened though. So so he Chef, are you saying bag. are you're saying that he always had the bag? No question. I always remember tight pants always Thomas with the bag. With We're the duffel look. bag. He always carried a duffel bag. We're gonna look. It, even to the ring? Yeah, he would rock it and hold it. Even to when he fought, um, what do you call it? Remember he pulled the, the weapon out of it and he well, he held Alex Kane? Well, against our baby Tegman, like uh, in the yeah. summer, during the summer? Yeah. He definitely had it. Yeah, but the bag looked uh, light, though. Now, now you paying attention to a bag you don't even remember seeing? Well, no, I do remember that part, but I, that the bag was right as hell though for him to be grabbing something from the bag. Have you seen the size of him? He can walk around holding me like that. <laughs> Which is, mean, true. That is true. Mr. Thomas that is, is a, true. a jacked up dude. Dude, and, and I, you only five I, four. So yeah. <laughs> I honestly can't remember seeing him, and I'm looking like quickly through shots. Uh, MLW shots. I can't see anything that has a bag. Hey, Selena de la Renta, we love you. Um, I'm just looking, looking through through shots, and I cannot see Mister. So I I see a shot of Alex Kane uh, when he announced his departure from the. You know, well, see, then that story that, that storyline is later because 
I'm seeing a shot of him when he announces his uh, departure from the was America's top team. And then, you know, they became yeah. Bumaye, but still way too early in that storyline. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm going yeah, to have to go back and, and take a look. I'm going to have to go We're back and take a look. We're going to investigate this gentleman. We really are. Anyway. <laughs> so why didn't you bring it up before? Why didn't you bring it up before? That's what I want to know. No, if you, you knew this, you not, if you knew, you, but you never even mentioned the bag. I now. didn't think although, about it. Bro, although I'm I got to say, incriminate nobody. I got to say, we also just hit us straight in the face. The SAT two or was it two or three weeks ago that we realized what SAT actually meant. That's that you enough see? people. Yeah, it was on the back of your shirt. We, dude, that is all big. We're missing it. Yeah, I know, but we we just missed it. I didn't know that. Jesus, wow, (laughs) wow. Listen, listen. So what's next? What's next, man? We're done with the. All right, let's get out, and we'll come back. Yeah, take us out, man. Because well, we're done with this. Well, we we're looking for a piece of a bag. They said great, paved the way, chase the rain, release the pain, least you sane, getting paid, trend set it, brighter day, dope a rap, tight as set it, higher deadly, I'm a fighter jet.